Welcome back. We're back here in reality after some very interesting dreams or potentially nightmares. And we need to assemble with the crew. So, hi guys. How you doing? Look, Miss Himiko. I brought the kid back as promised. Uh, you're all right. We couldn't find you in either dream or reality. We were worried sick. It's good to see you're unharmed. Allow me to introduce you to Miss Black Swan, memo keeper of the Garden of Recollection. I appreciate the assist. Uh, so you're Himiko's friend? Uh, not exactly. Miss Himiko said that they were investigating the incidents happening in the dreamscape. <laughs> not quite yet. But thanks to you, we might be able to use this opportunity to get to know each other a little bit better. So how did you end up there? And what the heck happened? Good question. Good question. Elaborate on what you experienced. I don't know if I have the answers, but... So, the one who attacked you was a girl dressed in red, adept at illusory arts, and was able to shapeshift. Her name is Sparkle, a masked fool who has infiltrated Penacony. Don't worry, she won't be bothering you for now. She's probably patting herself on the back for a job well done. It seems you know her well. Of course, I know everyone here. On Penacony, anyone could be lying, but the remembrance does not lie. So I feel the need to clarify with everyone. Miss Sparkle's tricks can induce hallucinations, but that strange dreamscape? Nothing to do with her. It originated from Penacony itself. Ooh. It seemed to have some connection to Clocky from the sounds of it. From the little bits we got while we were inside there. Hmm. Penacony itself? Have you not sensed it yet? This apparent land of dreams. It's a carefully designed dream maintained by the family through unknown means. And the memory zone she fell into, that's the true dreamscape. Chaotic, dangerous, enigmatic. A beast of memory dwells in the ever-shifting labyrinth. <sighs> She's right. Everyone, do you all still remember your surroundings during your entry into the dreamscape? Clocks. Huh. So, everyone saw the same thing? I remember... It was a room... And then, through a mirror, I came to a long hallway. The... Gallery of Thoughts. That's how the hotel staff referred to it. Have you noticed? These landscapes seem quite distinct from that of Penacone's in your dream, yet strikingly similar to the dreamscape described by Miss Black Swan. You're right. I didn't give it much thought at first, but in hindsight, the overlap is hard to ignore. Also, after speaking to some of the frequenters, the first stop when you enter the dream is supposed to be the hotel in the dream. But due to certain incidents, the hotel is now under renovation. Yeah, we, we need an answer to that, really. What's going on with that? Because it's going to be connected somehow. What could possibly have to happen to an entire building for it to require renovation? Combine that with what she just experienced, and the answer is clear. Penacone's dream is sinking right now turning back to its original form, and falling into the deep sea. Sinking? You mean the dreamscape is collapsing? The encounter at the dreamscape hotel was a sign. I see. That would explain the uneasiness we've sensed from the family. Leaving aside the question of guest safety, were this to become public, it would it would tarnish the name of the Planet of Festivities. 
With the Charmony Festival around the corner, it's no wonder they'd want to keep it under wraps. Even the guest's safety cannot be assured now. Isn't the monster that she encountered indisputable proof? Need I remind you that it is a memory zone meme? How could a meme that heralds death and murder appear in a dream that the family proclaims to be absolutely safe? Everyone could be lying on Penacone. Does that include the family as well? Miss Black Swan, we fully understand our current predicament now. Going back to your original suggestion, for what reason has the Garden of Recollection chosen to work with the Astral Express? Yeah, like why'd you need our help? Hmm, let me rephrase then. This is my personal request, not the Garden of Recollections. And the answer is simple. Miss Himiko, I simply wish to make an exchange related to the Remembrance. Apart from my duty, I also have some personal pursuit in aesthetics. I am a memo keeper and a collector. I too yearn to experience those luminous, dazzling, cherished memories. That's simple enough to understand, no? As for you all, nameless of the Astral Express and practitioners of the Trailblaze, I have faith in your potential, as well as in the unique splendor you will unleash on the stage. This is why I wish to befriend all of you. <laughs> A place where nightmares and sweet dreams intersect. The perfect cradle for the remembrance. I understand. But before replying, we must first discuss this among ourselves. I mean, what else are we going to do right now, really? We've got to go along with it. Naturally. Take your time. And uh, where did you go? Like, can I have a word with you before? Why isn't there a sugar-free soul glad? That's a good point. Why isn't there a sugar-free version? A uh, one peach soul glad? I don't see her around. All right. Very well. Stream four. The gleam yep. of old blades. That's what I meant to do. How do you see things, Himiko? It's best to be skeptical of her. There's a significant amount of intentional misdirection in her words. Oh, yes, yeah, certainly. It, it, we should be, like, completely on guard constantly with everything but go along with whatever she wants at this point. But I worry about the worst outcome. If the dreamscape's anomaly really exists, and it isn't a natural occurrence, but instigated by someone behind the scenes. Then it likely has something to do with the Watchmaker's invite. Huh. How'd you figure that one out? Timing. Well, excluding any extreme scenarios, the mastermind responsible for these shifts in the dreamscape undeniably stands against the family, which narrows it down to two possibilities. Someone is drawing in external influences to distract and disrupt the family's control over Panacone. Either that, or the family has been forced to seek outside aid surreptitiously for self-preservation. Yeah, I was leaning towards the um, latter option there. But from the encrypted message on the invite and the family's reaction, the former is more likely. I mean, yeah, the way he's put it is like, yeah, but it's still a possibility, though. It still is. Which also means that the one who sent out the encrypted nameless message and the mastermind behind the anomaly are on the same side. Maybe even the same person. Well, this doesn't necessarily mean a thing, right? In terms of methods, both the fools and the Riddlers could pull it off. Uh, hasn't the IPC cracked the message too? <sighs> March, calm down. It's just a possibility. But 
If this encrypted message isn't some harmless prank, but done so to invite the trailblaze into the fray, we cannot remain uninvolved. Well, let me tell you what I discovered, and I'm sorry, it's bad news. According to reliable sources, some people spotted a tall silver armored man on Panacone. I've reached out to the Bloodhound family for news and visited many of those guests who claim to have seen this invader. And this is what I received. I've sent it to you. Open it and take a look. Ahem. Can you hear me? Astral Express, it's been a while. How's Penicone? I mean, we knew she was around. It's... it's that hacker girl! Let's get a funny look at that. I, I do like chippy art style. It, it's adorable. I'll get straight to the point. I know you've been investigating the abnormal phenomenon surrounding Panacone. Or rather, we are pleased to see that you've been doing that. Because the deeper you delve, the closer you'll get to uncovering the truth about the so-called beautiful dream. The family is obviously hiding something, right? Well, we've nabbed some valuable information and out of the goodness of my heart, I've decided to share it with all of you. Although it unfortunately means your idyllic break in paradise is nearing its end. Enter this string of code into your dream pool, the device you use to dream with, and dive into the hidden map for a look. The coordinates have been sent to you. You just have to copy them over. Also, I take it you've already heard about Sam? <laughs> you should look forward to the meeting. He's a straight shooter who values a fair fight. <laughs> I think you'll get along with him just fine. Don't be overwhelmed by his enthusiasm. Oh, he had me relay a message to you. Ahem. <clears throat> the curtains have just risen over the dream that can't be reached. <laughs> the various factions have started to move. I wish you luck. Don't fall behind, nameless. The dream that can't be reached? Those Stellaron hunters, they even factored Penacone into their plan. Nowhere safe from them! The situation is clear. The planet of festivities isn't what it seems on the surface. Everyone's sights, including the factions in the family, are set on the Watchmaker's legacy. Every party has its own motives, and they're attempting to thwart each other. While we still don't know what this legacy entails, it's only a matter of time before the power struggle ensnares innocent bystanders. The Molten Knight, Sam, is reportedly a remnant of Glamoth's Iron Cavalry, a genetically engineered warrior. He possesses superhuman perception and acts decisively. He'll leave no margin for error. This individual is every bit as dangerous as Kafka and Blade. Oh yes, he is indeed. I faced him in the, um... I forgot the name of the place now. I'll remember in a minute. This message is a threat. The hidden map that Silverwolf mentioned is probably the sealed Dreamscape Hotel. For the sake of what's to come, a visit seems necessary. Like the Garden of Recollection, that area. The, the place I can get to on the Astral Express. Uh, should we inform the family? We may be on amicable terms, but that doesn't mean they trust us. Let's act first and talk later. If the family asks, just Tell them that the Express is investigating the Stellaron Hunters. I'm sure they'll understand. We'll plan our next move according to how they react. Then we are in agreement. Let's return and inform Miss Black Swan. But where is she? There she is. You weren't here a minute ago. Um, one thing I want to do... Forgotten Hall. That's, that's what, I, I, I faced him there. I faced Sam there. Yes. He's, he's quite a toughie. Miss Black Swan, the Express is willing to cooperate with you. 
We need a proper guide to navigate the memory zone. I'm at your service. I will not disappoint. You two return to your own rooms. Enter the dream, and if everything goes without a hitch, we'll see one another at the Dreamscape Hotel's lobby. I'll stay in the real world to ensure everyone's safety. If needed, I will also parlay with the family. I assume there's no problem, Miss Black Swan? It seems that I'll have a hard time gaining your trust, even if I personally did rescue your friends. It's no problem, of course, other than the fact that my feelings are a little hurt. Oh, I'm so sorry. We're counting on you, Welt. As for us, let's get ready to see the dreamscape's true visage. We'll be busy for a while. I wonder if Fireflies returned to reality yet. Oh. Hmm. I don't have her contact info. I'll ask Black Swan. Still don't know how to get into this room here. I'm assuming it's going to be some quest or something or other later. Hello! You look anxious. Worried about that girl? You can talk to me if you've something on your mind. In this world, there's no one who heals the heart better than a memo keeper. Hmm. Can you confirm Firefly is safe? Don't worry. That is a one-way door leading to awakened reality. Unless that girl is so stubborn that she refuses to wake up from the dream, which isn't possible. She must be holed up somewhere in the hotel massaging her eyes right now. Ooh. But what, what if she does refuse to wake up from the dream? I just did what I had to do. You are special, after all. So special that many pairs of eyes are watching your every move. Oh, like a video on some kind of video website called YouTube? No. To be honest, I don't really trust memo keepers. It appears you've had some unhappy memories. But it's obvious that this partnership makes the most sense to you, me, and the Express crew, no? So you can take it easy and trust me. Of course, I'm not the only memo keeper who has come. Penacone has opened its doors to factions beyond the family for the first time. And the garden must record this historic moment. So you can try working together with others as well. As long as you can see them. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, you're not returning to your room? No. I will accompany you into the dream to prevent harm from befalling you all. Memo keepers don't need a dream pool anyway. Okay, that's all for now. Alright. Drift peacefully off to sleep, and I'll be right with you. Okay. Enter Silverwolf's code. Welcome to Pinnacone, honored guest. Lie down in the dream pool. Back in this familiar room. This way, darling. Well, at least we can go through the door. No, hello. Chip, don't move. I'm brainstorming how to improve the design. The shape of the stove is too mundane. It should have been decorated a little more. Chip. Hang on. Maybe this current version is pretty good. But I still feel like the first draft was better, Chip. Never mind. I still have to ask Lady Vermillion what she thinks, Chip. Chip. And they're gone. All right. What's wrong? Are you not feeling well? You know, I felt better. I don't feel so good. I know you're more sensitive to Memoria, thus more easily affected by the dreamscape than others. This is also why I have to accompany you. I shall use my methods to relieve you. 
Don't worry, as your companions are safe. I had both of them each give me a trinket before I entered the dream. This will allow me to feel their presence in the memory zone. They're already awake in their rooms. Will you be comfortable in following me now? Time waits for no one. We must hurry to the lobby. March's room is this way. I should go meet up with her. Wanna check around for st- Ah, you see? Gotta look for the chests. Your memories tell you this is March 7th's room. Unless fate intervenes, she will awaken here. March, are you there? You knock, but there's no response. Are you in there? We're about to set off. You knock again, but there's no response. March! It's me, Twitka. You knock harder and there's still no response. I know what you're thinking, but alas. That girl isn't in there, and neither is this her room. The moment you stepped into the memory zone, reality's building structures lost all meaning. I can sense that she is in a faraway place right now. In the meantime, if we want to find that lobby the navigator mentioned, we'll have to try a little harder. Could've warned me. These poor little things stumbling about. <laughs> Strange. There appears to be someone else's- Ah! Uh, her! How is this possible? It's just weird seeing her down there and here at the same time. Wait, hold on. I saw over here. Yep. You need fixing. Ooh, what we got? What we got? It's good. Straight away. That's it, we're done. Cute. Tick tock. Right, so what is she doing here? Are there no staff members here at all? Huh? What are you doing here? Hi. Are you lost your way again? Like what? Well, not really. I just don't know where I am. We'll have to cut the banter short. Let's first work together and remove these overly friendly children, shall we? I'm indebted to you both for your help. Right, let's get him sorted then. Black Swan will assist in battle for the next part of the journey. Right? I'll go easy. Thank you. Um, let's get some support going. <laughs> Can you find the answer? Look at that. Destined for a blip. Vienna. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. You're done. Bum. Bum. Finally, some peace and quiet. What are the two of you doing here? We could ask you the same thing. You couldn't. There's only one of her. It's a long story. I fortuitously, as she should remember, became friends with some of the bloodhounds and was helping them track down a wanted criminal. Except I ended up here for some reason. A wanted criminal, you say? Okay. You aren't hiding anything, are you? Hiding? I don't think I'd be capable of that in front of a memo keeper. Hmm. How about in front of me? That's not what I meant. It's just a figure of speech. Your arrival is timely. This dreamscape is fraught with danger. Since our destination is the same, how about we join forces? I can protect you from harm, but in the memory zone, I'll need assistance from the memo keeper as well. And... If we run into the family, it wouldn't hurt to have one more person to explain the situation. Hmm. What do you think? <laughs> it's just, no, absolutely not. Never hurts to have more people. Thank you. I'm truly grateful. 
Glad to be traveling with you again, Miss Black Swan. Hmm. I truly hope so. Again? We have enough. What? Not the dream bubble that. That. Thank you. Lost. Number one. Previously. On Lost. This door can't be opened? It's locked. I can travel through it freely, but you all... <sighs> we'll just have to take the way I came. Follow me. Very well. Get this dinosaur balloon while we're at it. Oh. <sighs> Ooh, there's another chest there. Don't it's forget to let your friends in on the action. Any chip chips around? Is there chip chip? Chip chip? I'm not replying if there are any. Don't see any. I imagine there's one down there somewhere though. Just not sure where. Find the path to the lobby. Oh. <sighs> this room. Why is it upside down? The memory zone is constantly shifting its form. Looks like we'll have to think of a way to walk on the ceiling. We're standing on the ceiling right now. Miss Acheron's words speak sense. Regardless, we have to reach that flat surface hanging overhead. And we're not scaling the pillar, of course. I'll teach everyone some traversal tricks used in the memory zone. But haven't we done that before already? Can't we tell them that? Like, yeah, I've done it before. I know what we're doing. Stream four. The gleam of old. It'll be like, you have? Like, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, done it before. <sighs> hmm. Button is over there, okay. I'll grab you. How about it? Can you feel the memoria flowing around you? Next, find a suitable spot and try walking up the wall. <laughs> it worked. You really can walk up walls. A memory zone of this level is mere child's play to a memo keeper. Come on, let's head out through the front door. Huh. But that raises questions about what we've experienced already. Okay. Let's go back into here though, because there's still more to get here. Go on auto now and see what it. Uh, that's not auto. Destined for oblivion. Because it should destroy them the quite department. quickly. My team set up at this point. Cured can rebound ability damage. Onto sweet gorilla. <laughs> this is oh, look, speed. yeah, what's this? I see a sweet gorilla. Yeah. Feeling spiffy? Not a big gorilla. I mean, it is big, but it's very sweet. A will forged in ice. But I assume Never not in the way of like, it. oh, it's very kind. It's very nice. In the way of it's got some sweet beverages on its person. <laughs> It too shall fall. That's got you done pretty much, hasn't it? Can you find the answer? I I think I can, eventually. On the still waters of oblivion. You done? Now let me have that chest. This is what exploring the cosmos is all about. How do I get that chest? That's the question. 
There's got to be a way to get there. Probably not here, though. Get a refill going. Because it feels like it's up there, yeah. This is... a dead end. You're natural, aren't you? You're a prodigy at remembrance. I wouldn't go that far. There we go then. Blech. We've arrived. There's an elevator here, just like in the lobby. We should be able to reach our destination with it. But the memory zone up ahead appears to be severely twisted. Be careful, everyone. Almost feels like a persona dungeon at this point. Lost number three. Right, so down there's where we want to go, but... Check down here first. Hello. Hmm. Stream four. The gleam of old like, no, you don't, mate. No, you don't. More to it again. Feeling spiffy? Destined for oblivion. I weep for the departed. I always like to throw an auto every so often with this stuff so I can see what it does to see if I can change up what I'm doing. It seems to basically be doing the same thing I do, which is just get the debuffs, etc. around. Time for a buzz. <laughs> Build up Ashadon's ultimate move. This is double speed. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, retreat. Uh, hold on. Oh, all the way back here? Like, come on. Not all the way back here. I don't want that. Like, no, 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 no. A locked door there. Didn't realize there was a locked door there before. Okay. Did I miss that? Oh, no, that's what I was doing, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, dear. Wait, isn't this the place I need to... Get her equipment. Yes, 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 yes. Good, 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 good. Um, right, let's just... Uh, just prepare for this fight a little bit beforehand now. Again, I gotta be a bit wary because I don't have a healer. Storms on the horizon. At this point. Uh, sparkle. Whoa! This? No, you don't, mate. No, you don't. Watch it. Right, now we'll auto. Just get that bit of a defensive buff at the start there from Jepard. Familiar. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Right, we should be good now. We should be good. Time for a buzz. <laughs> Destined for oblivion. So now we're going to unleash that, and we're fine. There we go. I weep like for the departed. Creepy crystal hand <laughs> coming through. It too shall fall. Feeling spiffy? On the still waters really. of oblivion. It'll heal. Like, num 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 num. There's oh, our we'll shield. That's what we're after, ice. really. Never falters. Because that's essentially our health bar. Is is the shield. <laughs> We have a backup health bar, which is our actual health bar. This is double speed. And he's essentially the healer who keeps replenishing the shield health bar. That's how I see it, anyway. Destined for oblivion. That's how I see it. Oh, just noticed there's a birdie there as well. Change back over to you as well already. Yeah. Chap, rats, can't believe I've been caught by you, chap. That doesn't count, chap. One more time, chap. Hold on. I've got to go back to the great tree. I'll beat you next time, chap. Yeah. Chap, chap. Right, let's get this chest as well. This is what exploring the cosmos is all about. I doubt that. I doubt that. Quite a bit. We've arrived. There's an elevator here, just like in the lobby. We should be able to reach our destination with it. Should. But the memory zone up ahead 
appears to be severely twisted. Be careful, everyone. See? I told you it wasn't going to be that simple. Where is this? Good question. Where are we? <sighs> this door is locked too. There's no end to this. Let me try. You see the memo keeper close her eyes. She's searching the room in an almost telepathic way. Even every nook and cranny outside the room. This memory zone is overly twisted. I have to use an elegant method, so you two, please give me a little time. Okay. Hmm. Got it. I can see the core of this dreamscape, and there are members of the family, and some figures trying to find their way forward. It appears that your friends aren't faring too well. One, two, three... Firefly. Wait. Three. There's a third person seeking the way to the lobby. Wait. It's... The girl who was with you. Firefly, what's she doing here? You said she already returned to reality. There was another bit to that, though. It's like, unless... It eludes me, but there is a known semblance in the memory zone, mirroring the essence she radiates. What reason does she have to delve so deep into the dreamscape? She... Is she running? No. Running away? Something's right behind her. This is not good. Everyone, we must hurry. No! Oh. Jigsaw. Yes. Good. Good, I suppose. Let's see where we're actually at here. What? We're in the middle of nowhere! Doesn't help me. There's no time. I'll just have to break the rules and use some methods to help you phase through the memory zone. Watchmaker's legacy. I picked up slivers of her thoughts in the memory zone. These will help you form an impression of her. Now, you must hang on to these thoughts with all your might and shape them in your mind. I caught some very familiar memories just now. She's not hurry through here. We're coming, Firefly. Or a chest? No. Triple dot. The gate shuts. Your thoughts stirred by the swirling current are pulled along, descending into a deep abyss, sinking. When the hatch opens up again, what sights will you behold? Perhaps no one can provide an answer. An indescribable fluid, darkness, flows from your chest to your throat. Ooh. Suffocation engulfs you from within. Then, a voice emerges. In my dream. Final Sai escapes origin unknown. It's because they're afraid to awaken from the dream. Watch out! A dangerous presence lurks nearby. Everyone, be on your guard. There's Lady Vermilion. Right. What I'm actually going to do is use this as a place to end this part. And in the next part, we'll go to the lobby. We shall see you in the next part. Tot off for now.